headset needs you on something. Nope, Begley. I'm getting drunk now. Tell you what, your next tab's on the resistance, assuming you live through this. Ooh, it's a deal.
Disengage. Over and out. Weak. Say about this. You look a fuckery. Hey. Keep it up. This doesn't need to get out of control. It's okay. You look a bomber, clad. Suspects reported in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Received. Stand by for further developments. Oh, sorry, mate. There's no oh, fuck oh. did you just say? Support unit 
Six possible suspects or suspects reported near your location. Control, we've received a call over. Control, we're in pursuit. Over. What the hell? on the suspect. There's only one way this ends. for a most objective work. Hello, Bugsters. Welcome to the Bug, the comedy show that holds up the Medusa of satire to the already immovably concrete face of modern Britain. I'm Andy, and thanks for 80, and I can check it through the past. Control, we have a visual on the suspect. Control, we have a visual on the suspect. Putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephants in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. I get that, but we're talking about gunning a man in charge of the bloody PMC. That's got the whole of London in terror. What do you want us to do, eh? Sneak in? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. We are after the One specific Londoner <laughs> who bought shares in Bloom before its tentacles grew to every crevice of the country. I mean, this is this is not just any old poll. We shouldn't say that. This is not any any poll. This is an official poll. Right in the very heart of government, it's not a knock-off on the fake poll of an elderly couple and an AGL dog sitting on a bench waiting to die. This is an official poll. So let's just put those words, official poll, through an online translator in case you didn't study languages. Let's find out what it actually means. Made up life. There we go. <laughs> Got to clear that up. I, I don't I think it's fair to say entirely trust these official polls. They feed us, Alice. I mean, they could publish an official poll saying that... Over 99.9% of children like ice cream. And they Control, we're pursuing all the children suspect. Now hates all ice cream and would prefer to eat a bucket of black ice cream. Suspect left the vehicle, maintaining visual. <laughs> <laughs>
local teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? Well, fuck. Let's get this over with then. Right. Don't come round here again. Just go fuck yourself, yeah? Fuck yourself. Okay, fine. Uh -huh. Okay. You are nothing more than a pathetic waste of space. Why don't you just crawl off into a ditch and die alone? Oi, you look proper skin. Either they watch during a breakup. <laughs> Your judgment is impaired, Sally. I'll make my own decisions. I trust both sides. Oh, fuck. I don't mean to do that. I have to mean to. Congratulations, Andy. You took on a free holiday to the south of France in the back of this window as well. I think official polls are like the unsolicited dick pics that the government provides us. I didn't ask for it. I don't believe it. It's on an angle. You've artificially inflated it ahead of time. And anyone that falls for one deserves all the disappointment of trying to match it to reality. <laughs> And it absolutely is not. Received. I mean, well, we have this technology now where they can spy on my every bowel movement. There's a, a CTOS camera installed inside my underwear drawer. A media drone is scanning the birds up and down bird food and you can't get any pieces of the big water. Speaking of uh, media drones, I mean, they're everywhere, clearly. The great thing, I guess, about media drones is that, as inanimate robots, they actually have no human We are unsighted of suspects over... They used to have to up and, a, and a much more accurately calibrated moral compass. But it's the intrusion I can't stand, Alice. I'm in showbiz. Look at, look at me here in this windowless dungeon. I'm in showbiz. The search has yielded no results. Report back to HQ. I'm being filmed all the time. I've been there to make sure I've done my hair. All units. Possible suspect or suspects reported near your location. Message received. Moving in. Over. At this point, they've installed so many CTOS cameras, I'm not sure where they'll put the new ones. On top of the old ones, just cameras watching other cameras like a social Control, media I can't see the so self-absorbed they don't advise. know how to sleep without turning it into monetized content. <laughs> I think that's the logical end of all society, where just everything has just become a camera filming another camera. To be honest, I've just given up on all news. All units disengaged. Suspect has disappeared. I know disappeared. Just up my own headlines these days. I get a piece of paper and a pen. Remember them? Paper and pens, those were the days. And I'll just write down the headlines I want to read. I'll just make my own newspaper. Look, here's the here I've got today. If you point at the bird shit on your car window and say it's a currency, no one can tell you otherwise. Screen to Chancellor at Bilderberg, karaoke night. Ah, uh, this one has right, another headline. Here we go. PM announces Britain. Track after swapping all Crown Estate properties for some magic beans. As the nation we are today, there's no one. Royal joy on the streets of Britain signs 864 zillion pound trade deal with Bolivia. There we go, build a better world. Uh, government claims only nice people will benefit. Control, control, control units. Possible hostiles near your location. We're building a better Britain. Investigating. Here's another one. Stand Environment by. probably fine. Claims drowning scientists. Invent the world you want to have. Ramming the suspect. Actually got from the bug, the buy. From the buccaneer, this is the bug. Where did they go? Shit! What's that doing there? Do you recognise him? What are they doing? If you have questions about someone's behaviour, if you see something suspicious, you need to tell us because we need to know. 
SIRS. We're looking out for Britain. Are you? Hello and welcome Over. to today's episode of The Upload. We're talking about the optic and how it's changed our lives. Now, as you remember, Bloom announced a new version of the Optic at the recent Tone Conference, but we haven't heard too much about that since due to the dramatic events there. Let's cast our minds back and consider the technology. I mean, the Optic changed everything. It lets you see things in the eye. You no longer need a smartphone. You just have a small implant that sends signals to your optic nerve and lets you see your emails, take calls, and browse the internet directly as if the screen was in front of your eyes. Instead of having to carry around a phone, you've just got the small handheld unit. So much lighter and so much more convenient. It's great. If you want to release an EPC detainee, you can do it from a terminal in this location. Sure. It's definitely made things a lot easier. It's so simple to call someone now. All you have to do is choose who you want to chat to, and they're there, ready to talk. And browsing the web is so much easier. I remember when you used to have to sit down at a computer with an actual keyboard and mouse and type everything out. And my favourite feature is public transport. With the Optic, you can just walk straight onto the tube. It even acts as a passport. No longer do I have to dig around and try and find my old paper passport with the travel segment. Also, I thought the optic marketing strategy of making it free for people was a stroke of genius. Genius. Bloom was really calculated when it was doing that. It was pushing this Lacanian device on it at all. Sure, everybody flocked to it. There was free Wi-Fi and phone plans. That definitely helped, but it wasn't a case of this is a product that you need in your life. Why do you hate it so much? It's just the worst because you had to give up your privacy expectations and accept surveillance. It was almost like the government and Bloom didn't even need to make the optic mandatory. Making it mandatory was only to get the last holdout to cross the line. If you go You can release an EPC detainee from here. Suspect was there earlier. Check it out. Deportation order cleared. I'll inform our prospect. On that subject, I have some exciting news about the man you just helped. forgotten what it really means. Here, you've got a whole company owning basically all the data about your life. Blue can see everything that you can see. Nothing is private anymore. There are so many times when I don't want anyone to have a clue about where I am, who I'm chatting with, what I'm doing. It's not even dodgy stuff, but I just don't want anybody to blackmail with me with this in the future by hacking it. And because of Bloom's contracts with the government, it isn't just Bloom that can see everything I do, it's the government. The UK as a state has become 
a complete surveillance target. I think you're painting a bit of a bleak picture. It's not... Any sign of the target? Anyone? Returning to HQ, over. server in a van. Acknowledged. vehicle you're looking for there. Got the key. Bagley, find me an optimal drop site and tell our hacker to meet me there. Got it. Pushing the coordinates now.
You're being followed. You'll have to do something about that before you can deliver the vehicle. Good, you lost them. Styles near your location. Control, we are ready to engage. Control, we are pursuing the suspects. Over. Negative, no sign of the target yet. Returning to HQ, over. Unsighted sweeping area. Return to HQ. This is pointless.
Hey, what gives? You're supposed to be here to drain the account. I'm hiding nearby. Gonna grab that key over wireless. I'm not sticking my neck out there for the Kellys to murk me, all right? Funny you should mention that. I'm seeing multiple Clan Kelly hostiles converging on the van right now. Always one thing after the next, innit? Fuck. I'll keep them occupied while you grab the crypto. I've got this. You will die someday. Best to make peace with that now. Transfer complete. I'll open a channel to our hacker friend. Holy shit, fam. Amazing. This hard-earned money is going back to the ends. How do I even repay you? You want in? Go on. Take the red pill. Join DedSec. Yeah, why not? I'm in.